Hi everyone, my name is Dinesh Sirisena and I'm a consultant in sports medicine. I use ultrasound regularly in my clinical practice and as part of this I've been keeping a logbook of the procedures and scans that I've undertaken. I really encourage everyone to do so because it not only provides as a tool to demonstrate to everyone what you have been doing but also as a way of evaluating and auditing your own results and procedures. So here's the first page of the logbook that I've been keeping. And let's have a look at this in a little bit more detail. So the first page is essentially summary with a table showing the different clinics and hospitals I've been working at over the years, the number of scans and the number of procedures I've undertaken and I've just taken it upon myself just to do a small calculation so I can see an overall percentage. The percentages are then charted on the bar graph and two pie charts show the total numbers of scans and procedures that I have been doing. For each of the clinics or hospitals, I have put a separate page. And the reason being is that things have sort of evolved over time in terms of what I've recorded but the core information remains the same. Now, the most recent place that I was at was Gutek Pot. And so let's have a look at this page because this is the most detailed information on the scans and procedures that I undertook while I was there. So this is the KTP page and it looks a little bit busy, but let's have a look at it in a little bit more detail so that we can understand what's going on here. So first and foremost, you can see the date column, and I've tried to do things as chronologically as possible. Then I've tried to define it by the area that I'm scanning. So whether it's ankle, knee, spine, or shoulder, I've tried to categorize it that way. And then further categorize it according to the structure that I was examining, or the one that was of particular interest. So whether it was ankle, ligaments, shoulder tendons, knee tendons, and so on. I've also then tried to add in a description of what the problem was, as well as uh, if I've done an injection or not, and what type of injection was undertaken. There's a running total for the month, um, and then there's a little bit of coding which I put in, so that when it comes to the analysis, it makes the Excel spree spreadsheet do a little bit of work for you. And then we come on to the numbers. So we have here on the chart the number of ligament scans or times that I've scanned a structure with a particular focus on the ligaments. Another, again, we have tendons or bursa or muscles. Then we move on to the other summaries, which include the number of injections and the number of scans, the different areas that I've scanned and the totals for these. And then I used to keep a running total of the number of scans per month and just to see if you know how things fluctuated over time and how things sort of normalized as uh, my patient load increased and there you have it the total numbers for each year uh, i haven't included 2020 and 21 and 22 there um, but you can see the charts which show the number of uh, scans of different areas um, and i've just you know collated it into different pie charts so that it's just more uh, aesthetically pleasing and it's uh, easier to interpret visually. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video useful and hopefully uh, you are inspired to also keep your own logbook. If you did find the video useful, please remember to hit the like down below and subscribe to the channel for further updates. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram and also remember to check out sportsmedinfo.sg. I hope to see you all very soon.